make history. I seek to break records. I seek to push myself, to challenge myself, take risks. I'm always looking to make history every single day. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get them two belts, take out two divisions, and continue doing what I'm doing. This is unprecedented, unseen. If anyone can do it, it's me. I think there's a lot of fans out there disillusioned. They are being sold something that isn't necessarily what it says it is. And a lot of people want to believe in it, and I get that. But I think it's important to set, uh, tell the truth. And the truth will be told. I hear some fighters saying, well, the fans don't know real fighters. As, what? as if to say, I'm not a real fighter. So what the f are you talking about? I'm the most active champion there is in all weight divisions. And I fight at all weight divisions. Connor's full of shit. He's full of shit. Most of the things he says are full of shit. They try to build Nate up like he was a monster 170 pounder and he's a world beater. Nate is a lightweight who is, wins half of his fights and loses half of his fights. There's, there's the bitterness coming out again. And I mean, winners focus on winning. Losers focus on winners. That's what you're seeing here. That's what you're seeing the whole game. They're focusing on me. I'm focusing on history. He's picked very good style matchups for himself. He's never put himself in, in harm's way. You're here because you're the easiest dude in this division. That's why you're here. And he's never, ever for anyone in UFC like me. I can take you where you're weakest, and I can fight you at your strengths. Oh! Huge right hand from Alvarez! It'll be high pace and it'll be violent. You've got to be bigger, taller. <laughs> You've got to have weight. That's the only way you're going to give me a war. If you're anyway same height, same weight, same reach, you're dead. You're not going to last. The illusion of greatness will soon be over. <laughs> there, there is no Santa Claus. He don't exist and he never did. I've been saying it since the beginning. These people are not on my level. I'm gonna take his belt, and that's it. Two-weight world champion, like I said, I said it. And I'm about to do it. And I'm just speaking the truth. history, no fighter has ever been champion of two weight divisions at the same time. Just 11 months ago, Conor McGregor ended the decade-long unbeaten run of the great Jose Aldo and seized the featherweight belt. On November 12th, he will look to add the lightweight world title to his collection and make an indelible mark on the annals of combat sports. I'm always looking to make history every single day, and here we are again, more history. I look forward to that strapping belt on the other shoulder. Training camp for UFC 205 is back in Dublin under the guidance of John Cavanaugh, McGregor's first and only head coach. And though they sit together at the top of the mixed martial arts universe, attention is still paid to every minute detail. 
there is always room for improvement. We kind of treat MMA sparring day as though it's like fight day. Really try to get that atmosphere. You know, you don't meet your opponent before the fight and shake hands and chat, you know, it's, it's a fight. We walk in and they go to their corners as though it's a fight, you know, I'm like the referee in the middle. We turn down the music and it can kind of be a little bit eerily silent. It's trying to make the uncomfortable comfortable. So when you do come to fight day, it's not that big a shock to your system. What Conor McGregor is attempting is unprecedented at the UFC level, but he has held two titles simultaneously before on the European circuit. Declared, he is now the first Irish-born fighter in MMA history to win a world title in his hometown. Your winner by KO victory, and now a two-division world champion. The what would it have taken to stop you? Is it possible? Not possible, no. I'm unstoppable. Unstoppable in competition and unrelenting in mindset, McGregor set his sights on another, more impossible feat. Four months later, he vacated the European featherweight and lightweight titles, signed with the UFC, and made his aspirations known. I looked to replicate it, and I set it from the bell. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get them two belts, take out two divisions, and continue doing what I'm doing. But McGregor's pursuit for that second belt has been met with a great deal of criticism. Fighters have claimed that his presence in multiple divisions, 145, 170, and now 155, would create a logjam of contenders. What the f*** are you talking about? I fight every f***ing week. I'm the most active fighter in the game, in all weight divisions, and I fight at all weight divisions. Of course I can take the two belts, I can defend them simultaneously. Who was going out there, time and time again, back to back to back to back, putting it all on the line and continuing to show up? Unbelievable, the first punch he threw, slept him. They all say I'm all talk. I look at them and say, they're all talk. What he's been able to do in such a short period of time has been nothing short of magnificent. All I hear is complain and bitch and moan. You want what I got, you better put in the work. And as far as I'm seeing, nobody's putting in the work. If anyone can do it, it's me. Conor McGregor has never fought anyone like me. It'll be high paced and it'll be violent. He probably isn't gonna wanna be in there after a set amount of time. He'll be thinking about wanting to be somewhere else, not inside of the cage with me. Alvarez, 14 years into the career, is the undisputed number one lightweight in the world. It took just two years for Eddie Alvarez to become UFC champion after joining the roster in 2014. Throw hands in on a shot, throw hands. He is now undoubtedly the best lightweight fighter in the world. Nice, Eddie. Something he's been trying to prove for more than a decade. Any guy outside the UFC who considered himself the best. That's who I was trying to go after. And I did that for years, and I traveled the world doing that. The biggest card ever in UFC history going into New York. The UFC's legendary New York debut begins on FS1 with the biggest prelims card in UFC history. Five prelims live from Madison Square Garden Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern only on FS1. Welcome to the Empire.
by your state. Stand up. Uh, I'm a BK bro. Oh, His own man is a square catch me at the fight. Hunter McGregor! Sensational. From New York City, right, Cam? Big damn right. Big shot, Tyrant Woodley! Wow! What a night, ladies and gentlemen! I know your shit UFC fans! For the very first time, the Octagon is inside the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, as we welcome you to the weigh-ins for UFC 205. Alvarez versus McGregor. Tomorrow night, 10 in the East, 7 in the West, only on pay-per-view. Three titles will be on the line. In the main event, Eddie Alvarez, the North Philly native who earned the belt with his first round knockout of Rafael Dos Anjos defends his title for the first time against the notorious one, UFC featherweight champion Conor McGregor, who has come to New York City to claim his piece of UFC history by becoming the first to hold two UFC belts in two weight classes simultaneously. Also tomorrow night on pay-per-view, the chosen one, Tyron Woodley, who scored the fastest finish in a UFC welterweight championship fight when he took the belt from Robbie Lawler, looks to defend against five-time world kickboxing champion Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, winner of seven straight inside the octagon, including a first-round finish of former champion Johnny Hendricks. And the strawweight title is on the line as Poland's brightest stars collide. Win the champion, Joanna Jacek, 12-0 as a professional, 6-0 in the UFC, makes her fourth title defense against 10-0 Karolina Kovalkiewicz, whose last loss came back in 2012 in an amateur matchup against none other than the UFC strawweight champion. We'd like to send out a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members and thank our UFC sponsors. Budweiser, this Bud's for you. Metro PCS, get a fast nationwide 4G LTE network for only $30, period. Wireless figured out. Harley Davidson Operation Personal Freedom. The rights we have to live in our own way are a gift given to us by those who sacrifice to protect them. Learn more about how Harley-Davidson supports the men and women who protect our freedom at your local dealer or each-d.com slash military. And by EA Sports UFC 2. Get up to 70% off for a limited time on the Xbox One and PlayStation consoles. And now to get the weigh-ins for UFC 205 underway. Here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, Madison Square Garden? New York, we made it! How about a round of applause for Ariane, Brentley, Ashley? Ladies and gentlemen, we have an incredible card here tonight. We got Dana White. Without him, none of this would be possible. Joe Silva, best matchmaker on the planet. Sean Shelby. Bruce Buffer, the voice of the Octagon, Chrissy, Vanessa, we got it all here, folks! And we're gonna, get, we're gonna kick it off in the women's bantamweight division! Liz Carmouche versus Caitlin Chukagian!
The next fight is the featured bout on UFC Fight Pass prelims. It is a catchweight bout between Jim Miller and Tiago Alves. Let's go! 
official weight, 185.5 for Sapo.
A się poznałam e, kilka lat temu na amatorskich zawodach. Była moją idolką, e, była siedmiokrotnym mistrzem świata. Teraz bardzo dużo rzeczy się zmieniło. Jestem e, kompletną zawodniczką MMA. There is no time for playing around. I just want to send a message to my opponents that fight with me is not going to be easy. Joanny Jacek is currently one of the most dangerous and dominant champions in the sport. And her vicious combination of kicks, knees, elbows, and punches, along with her sensational takedown defense and her championship confidence, makes her feared in the women's division. I was born to be a fighter, and I was born to be a champion. And again, and again, they can stop this fight. Right. It is all over! You, you try to think, what is the perfect style of challenger that you would like to see fighter? That is Karolina Kevalkovich. You want someone who's got good wrestling, who's very durable, very physically strong, very tough. Karolina Kevalkovich has all of that. But will it be enough? Chcę z nią zobaczyć. Ona jest najlepsza na świecie. Ja sobie lubię stawiać wysoką poprzeczkę i naprawdę wierzę w to, że jestem w stanie ją pokonać. Karolina should be happy that I let her fight with me. I'm giving her a big chance and she should be happy and thankful for that because uh, after the fight, she's not going to be happy anymore. Introducing the challenger, Karolina Kowalkiewicz! huge fight for you in the biggest event in the history of MMA and you will be challenging for the title. Give us your thoughts on this fight. I am ready. I can't wait. Uh, this is New York. Everything is possible. New York, new champ. Good luck to you. Karolina Kibalkovich, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm here with the champion. Welcome New York City. Welcome Madison Square Garden. How are you doing? I came here for you guys, and still, forever and ever. I think that's all you need to say, ma'am. Give us your thoughts on your opponent. She has a dream, big dream. She dreams about my belt. That's all over. That's all over. It's only a dream. Good luck to you, ma'am. The champion, ladies and gentlemen, Joanna young Jacek. Now, let's take a closer look at the two men involved in the welterweight title bout. 
It's so surreal to be fighting at the very first show at Madison Square Garden in New York City for the UFC, for the title belt. This is the biggest moment of my life, and no words can really describe the way I feel about it. This is all or nothing. This is the big stage. This is the garden. Fighting in Madison Square Garden is every performer's dream. It brings the best out of me when I know that the stakes are high. And you know, this is a great opportunity for me to step out and take one more step towards being legendary. <laughs> Legends never die. Tyron Woodley is one of the best athletes I've ever seen compete in MMA. He has ridiculous speed and power, outstanding wrestling, and brutal striking ability. I think there's a man alive that could take a straight right hand from Tyron Woodley and not get KO'd. But Stephen Wonderboy Thompson's one of the toughest guys to hit in the sport. He moves in unusual ways and does a lot of really unpredictable stuff inside the octagon. He is without a doubt one of the best strikers in the game today. Oh, spinning attack, another knockdown, that's it! Stephen Wonderboy Thompson! This is the fight where I step out there and prove to the world that I should be the welterweight champion. People haven't really seen the complete Tyron Woodley. I haven't had to show it yet. I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna put on a legendary performance, and this is gonna be one of many. I do picture myself with my hand raised, up, and that's how I see it. I can't see it any other way. That's what keeps me training as hard as I can, is seeing my hand raised at the end of this fight with that belt around my waist. This belt ain't going anywhere until I get down fighting. I want to be a legend. I want to be a great in this sport. I'll be undeniably one of the best welterweights, if not the best welterweight that ever graced the octagon, and that's my goal. Give us your thoughts on the fight. Man, you know what? This is why I do what I do, to put on a show for you guys. I appreciate everybody coming out, but this is the biggest fight of my life. You're gonna see the best Stephen Wonderboy Thompson tomorrow night, right here in MSG, New York, baby. Let's go. Good luck to you, sir. I'm here with the champion, ladies and gentlemen. Tyron, this is a title that you have worked hard for. This is a title that you plan on keeping. Give us your thoughts on Wonder Boy as a fighter and what tomorrow night means to you. I worked my entire life to be champion. 10 years in the making. I'm not gonna lose in Madison Square Garden. No time ever. CB Wonder Boy is a tough opponent. Hard puzzle to figure out. We got it done in training camp. Expect fireworks. Good luck to you, sir. Can't wait to watch the fight. Tyron Woodley, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's take a look at the two men involved in the main event of the evening for the lightweight title. I 
Leicester Square Garden has a rich history in combat sport. I'm looking forward to starting a new chapter of it. So this is where I, I seek to make history. I seek to break records. I seek to push myself, to challenge myself, take risks. I'm always looking to make history every single day. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get them two belts, take out two divisions, and continue doing what I'm doing. This is unprecedented, unseen. If anyone can do it, it's me. I think there's a lot of fans out there of disillusioned. They are being sold something that isn't necessarily what it says it is. And a lot of people want to believe in it, and I get that. But I think it's important to set, uh, tell the truth, and the truth will be told. I hear some fighters saying, well, the fans don't know real fighters. As, well, as if to say, I'm not a real fighter. So what the are you talking about? I'm the most active champion there is in all weight divisions, and I fight at all weight divisions. Connor's full of shit. He's full of shit. Most of the things he says are full of shit. They try to build Nate up like he was a monster 170 pounder and he's a world beater. Nate is a lightweight who is, wins half of his fights and loses half of his fights. There's, there's the bitterness coming out again. You know what I mean? Winners focus on winning, losers focus on winners. That's what you're seeing here. That's what you're seeing the whole game. They're focusing on me, I'm focusing on history. He's picked very good style matchups for himself. He's never put himself in, in harm's way. You're here because you're the easiest dude in this division. That's why you're here. And he's never, ever for anyone in UFC like me. I can take you where you're weakest, and I can fight you at your strengths. Oh! Huge right hand for Alvarez! It'll be high pace and it'll be violent. You've got to be bigger, taller. <laughs> You've got to have weight. That's the only way you're going to give me a war. If you're anyway, same height, same weight, same reach, you're dead. You're not going to last. The illusion of greatness will soon be over. <laughs> there, there is no Santa Claus. He don't exist and he never did. I've been saying it since the beginning. These people are not on my level. I'm going to take his belt and that's it. Two-weight world champion, like I said, I said it. And I'm about to do it. I'm just speaking the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger, the UFC featherweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor.
gentlemen. Connor, this is not just an historic event, but this is an historic opportunity. You have the opportunity tomorrow to be the first champion ever to hold two titles simultaneously if you win. Give us your thoughts on this fight. It's just another day for me. I do this every week. Um, tomorrow night, I'm ready to go in and do my thing for my fans, everyone that's supporting me. And that's it, raise double gold, another day, I do this every week. Ireland, stand up. We're about to do it again. Good luck to you, sir. I'm here with the champion, Eddie Alvarez, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie, this is an enormous opportunity for you. Give us your thoughts on this fight and what it means to defend your title for the first time in the most historic event in UFC history. I'm here to represent the Beast Coast, East Coast. I'm gonna silence everyone, goddamn you mother. The champion, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Alvarez. But that's not all. Now we have a preview of the main event on December 30th, 2016. Ronda Rousey, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the best in the world every single day of the year. Everything is special about Ronda Rousey. She's the Michael Jordan of her sport. She's a female hero. The greatest in the world. And we haven't found a close second yet. Ronda Rousey, Holly Holm. <laughs> Now here's the big question. What now? Misha's got her back. Looking to lock it in. She's out! Misha Tate, the third women's bantamweight champion. Oh! Amanda Nunes wow. is the first female Brazilian UFC champion. Wow. What a crazy division this women's bantamweight has turned out to be. Dana White. Have you heard from Rhonda yet? I text Rhonda and she said, oh, it looks like I gotta get back to work. It's the Fighting is the most important thing in the world, so I have to keep going. Do we hold on or let go? I was doing what I'm the best in the world at, and I need to do it again. Watch me as I climb the throne. When I started training for MMA, I always thank fighting Ronda Rousey because at the time she's the best. But now everything's changing. Ronda have her time, but. Now is my time. Amanda Nunes has done it! This is the next level. Look at those shots. Wow! Ronda Rousey! She is just spectacular. I'm the best in the world and I'm the win. Nobody gonna take this belt. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger, the former UFC bantamweight champion of the world! Amanda Nunes. Amanda, this is a, a massive opportunity for you to fight the most famous women's fighter in the history of the sport. Give us your thoughts on this opportunity to defend your title. This is the fight I asked for. I trained for this girl my whole career in UFC, and now I have a chance to defend my belt against her. It's gonna be amazing. You guys are ready for this battle? Oh, yeah. Good luck to you, ma'am. I can't wait for December 30th. Amanda Nunes, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you all tomorrow night.
done. Three title fights. In the tradition of the great championship bout here at Madison Square Garden. It's so surreal to be fighting at the very first show at Madison Square Garden. MSG is where all the top performers perform at. On the Apple, here at Madison Square Garden. That's why you're here. Easy money. One of those shots are gonna dig into that soft speed spot into the temple, and that's all she wrote. It's never ever for anyone in UFC like me. You guys will see. I'm gonna KO you inside one round. I will New York. UFC Fight Pass is your ticket to more than 1,000 live bouts. Check out live events from over a dozen fight organizations, including featured matchups on UFC Fight Pass early prelims. Invicta, the world's premier all-female MMA organization. Catch MMA from the Midwest's action-packed Victory Fighting Championship. See the live jiu-jitsu tournaments on the Eddie Bravo Invitational and the world's best kickboxing on the Glory Super Fight Series. Start your free trial now. was a fluke. Anyone that knows anything about this sport knows it was a fluke. You guys know I can beat him. Revenge is sweet. Yeah, I need to shut him up. And that's what I intend to do. Usasi looking for the finish. You stand up with Uriah Hall and he will make you pay. The rematch will happen. Madison Square Garden is a rich history in combat sport. I'm looking forward to starting a new chapter of it. So this is where I, want to go. I seek to make history. I seek to break records. The daylight is over. I seek to push myself, to challenge myself, take risks. I'm always looking to make history every single day. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get them two belts, take out two divisions, and continue doing what I'm doing. This is unprecedented, unseen. If anyone can do it, it's me. I think there's a lot of fans out there disillusioned. They are being sold something that isn't necessarily what it says it is. And a lot of people want to believe in it, and I get that, but... I think it's important to set, uh, tell the truth, and the truth will be told. I hear some fighters saying, well, the fans don't know real fighters, and what, as if to say I'm not a real fighter. So what the f are you talking about? I'm the most active champion there is in all weight divisions, and I fight at all weight divisions. No! Connor's full of shit. He's full of shit. Most of the things he says are full of shit. They tried to build Nate up like he was a monster 170 pounder and he's a world beater. Nate is a lightweight who is, wins half of his fights and loses half of his fights. There's, there's the bitterness coming out again. You know what I mean? Winners focus on winning, losers focus on winners. That's what you're seeing here. That's what you're seeing the whole game. They're focusing on me, I'm focusing on history. He's picked very good style matchups for himself. 
He's never put himself in, in harm's way. You're here because you're the easiest dude in this division. That's why you're here. And he's never, ever put anyone in UFC like me. I can take you where you're weakest, and I can fight you at your strengths. Oh! Huge right hand from Alvarez! It'll be high pace and it'll be violent. You've got to be bigger, taller. <laughs> You've got to have weight. That's the only way you're going to give me a war. If you're anyway, same height, same weight, same reach, you're dead. You're not going to last. The illusion of greatness will soon be over. <laughs> there, there is no Santa Claus. He don't exist and he never did. I've been saying it since the beginning. These people are not on my level. I'm going to take his belt. And that's it. Two-weight world champion, like I said. I said it. And I'm about to do it. I'm just speaking the truth. I'm the featherweight world champion. Now in November, I'm gonna be the lightweight world champion. Got a shot. You ain't got a shot. You're blessed that I chose to whoop your oh! You're the easiest dude in this division. That's why you're here. Easy money. One of those shots are gonna dig into that soft speed spot into the tempo, and that's all she wrote. Is never ever for anyone UFC like me.